Hi, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my Saturday story. A question to you again. What is your wife to you? A queen? Or a princess? Or neither? Let me share this Saturday story with you. I don't want you to answer this question now. Please answer this question at the end of this story. Once upon a time, there lived a farmer who had a daughter. He loved her a lot. He felt as if Goddess Lakshmi came into his family when she was born. He took very good care of her. He always gave her whatever she asked for, though he was not well to do. And he rather worked extra hard to earn money so that he could buy things for his daughter. He never allowed anyone, not even his wife, to say anything that would hurt his daughter. He treated her like a princess with so much love to the extent that his relatives and others in the village even felt jealous of her. And for her, her father was a real hero, an able man with a mm -hmm. kind and loving heart. And she was always her father's daughter. Years passed by. She attained marriageable age. So he looked for a good man from a neighboring village who is also a farmer and got her married to him. And soon after marriage, she had to leave her village and go to her husband's place. Though her husband was a good man, he was not like her father. He also worked hard in the field. During the good years when there was a bountiful harvest, he could buy all the things that the family wanted. But during the bad years, he could not buy that she wanted for her and her children. So they also used to have regular quarrels and certainly there were times when they were upset with each other. He was nowhere near her father. Forget about being a hero. And for him, with all that constant nagging from her, she was neither a queen nor a princess. But they continued to live together and raise their children with love and care. One day the farmer wanted to visit his daughter's family. So he went there only to find his daughter having developed some wrinkles on her face and a part of her head turned gray. And he was shocked to see how his daughter grew so old so fast. So with deep sorrow in his heart and trying his best to hide that, he kept a happy face and inquired from his daughter. My beloved daughter, tell me what could I do for you so that your family could be happier. She did not want to be a burden on her father. And she did not want her father to take any more pain because of her. So she told him, Papa, I am so happy here with my husband and children. My husband is a very caring and loving person. He is hard working too. He is taking good care of me and my children. I am so blessed to have him as my husband. Just do one thing. Please pray that there could be good rains this year so that my husband can harvest a good crop. He understood his daughter and appreciated her for her maturity. He returned home praying for his daughter's happiness and her family's prosperity with good rains and bountiful harvest. Her husband, who was very much worried whether she would complain against him with all those grievances that she used to nag him with, was surprised how she saved him and protected the honor and dignity of the family. After her father left, he walked up to his wife, looked into her eyes with tears in his own eyes. He stretched his arms, took his wife into his arms, gave her a gentle hug and kissed on her head. And for the first time, she felt like a princess in her husband's company. Now tell me, what is your wife to you? A queen or a princess? Or neither, or both. She deserves to be one, if not both. It is not the riches that would make her feel so. It is your love, your understanding, and your treatment that would make her feel so. Yes, there will always be differences between you and her. Yes, she might not accept you talking anything against her father, who always made her feel like a princess. But believe me, she would not also accept her father talking anything against you. 
it is she who would be coming with you till the last day and you are the whole world to her and she could be yours too all that is needed is a bit more of understanding a little more of love and compassion especially during these days of stress and turmoil caused by the covid-19 pandemic take good care of yourself and your family remember you are awesome thank you for watching this video see you again next saturday with another saturday story if you like this story please do visit my youtube channel and subscribe to it thank you